Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. To preface today's video, I know I've done a testing Shein try on haul in the past and I didn't love their clothes, but one day in the last couple of weeks I was just online and I saw an ad for these adorable dresses on Shein, so I thought I will give them another shot, maybe it just depends on what you order. So I went through and I ended up seeing all these adorable dresses and added them all to my cart and I figured, hey, I'll try them out and if I don't like them, at least they have free return shipping. So uh, we'll see how we feel about them today. The first dress I would like to show you is the one I'm wearing and I do have to say this is the most beautiful pattern or one of the most beautiful patterns I've ever seen. It does kind of give me those like Ted Baker or Zimmerman vibes because it's so pink and floral and feminine. Um, I do think that this dress will just look lovely on anyone. There's elastic here at the sleeve, so you've got some balloon sleeves, and then the waist is cinched in, but it's actually an elastic waist, so you can stretch it out pretty far. Um, so just depending on the size that you want, I purchased this one in a size small. I think I could actually go down to an extra small given the fact that the the waist stretches out and this is like not stretched at all on me and I think I would actually like it to be cinched in a little bit more to be a little bit more fitted. This is a midi dress on me and I am 5 foot 1 so it does hit me about mid calf. I could get it taken up a little bit to the knees I think to hit at a more flattering point or if you're short just you know wear a small heel that would really help. Another thing that you need to know about this dress and all the dresses that I show you today is these dresses are so inexpensive. You are paying for like the bare minimum. There's no lining in these dresses, so when you order them, I highly recommend standing in the sunlight with somebody that you trust to make sure that your dress is not see-through. Now, before we move on to the other dresses, I wanted to show you guys this adorable pair of sandals that I also ordered from Shein. They're just a faux croc white low heel open-toed sandal. That is pretty much the description right there. They do have a little bit of padding here, which is really nice, so they don't feel super cheap, and they also look really beautiful on your feet, and the low heel is nice because it doesn't make it super hard to walk. So we'll see how they wear. However, there is something about these sandals that is like the strangest thing that I have ever seen. If you'll notice here, the buckle itself is like, this is a normal buckle, like what you're used to seeing. But this part is not. This is like the kind of hook that you would see on the back of a shirt or on the back of a bra. So in order to do it up, I think you go like this and then you like hide it under the buckle. But then there's no way to adjust the buckle. So luckily this fits on my ankle, but if your ankles are probably any bigger or any smaller than mine, it would be really difficult to make these fit. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, this is what I'm assuming. If you've seen these kind of sandals before and you know the right way to you know, make these work and, and make them stay so that it won't fall off or anything like that, please comment below and let me know because I really love these sandals and would like to keep them and would like to wear them, but it will be a struggle if they are always falling off because of this weird hook. The next item that I have for you is this Dusty Rose balloon sleeve dress. Now I literally just took this out of the packaging, so I am very aware that this could use a good steam or iron. I really love the fabric on this dress. I would say that though that the sleeves are like so large. I think I would like it a little better if the sleeves weren't so large. It also has a great silhouette and a tie here so that you can cinch in your waist, or you could cut off um, these little tie holders if you wanted and not wear a tie around the waist. The dress itself does button all the way down. There's no zipper, it's all buttons. So if the, if you're looking for a dress that's gonna be like quick to pop on, this is not the dress for you. However, I do think that the buttons add a very nice um, feminine detail to it. It just, I think, elevates it and does make it look a little more expensive, which is nice when you're purchasing a dress that is you know, this inexpensive. The sleeves themselves are also a little bit long on me, but if you're any taller than me, I'm sure they're gonna fit you fine. I would prefer it if they came up a little higher, but again, I have pretty short arms. And next, I have this very simple maxi dress for you guys. The pattern itself is a royal blue pattern with a ton of little tiny white daisies all over it. It's cinched here in at the waist and then there are about three tiers that actually go all the way down to the ground. I think if you're taller than me, probably any taller than like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, this will be a midi dress on you because it hits me perfectly like a maxi dress would hit 
you know, a short girl. This dress itself is so light. At first I thought it was so, it seemed like really cheap, but actually wearing it feels so nice. It honestly feels like nothing. Like I could walk all day around in the heat and be just fine in this dress. So I think it's perfect if you're looking to go on vacation, maybe a fun, you know, 4th of July outfit if you're thinking that far ahead. So yeah, just a nice, simple, beautiful dress. This next dress that I have for you, <laughs> I don't know what compelled me to buy this dress. Actually, I do know what compelled me. I love lemons, I love strawberries, I love really any kind of fruit pattern. I think they're really happy and fun and bright. So I thought, hey, maybe they'll have a lemon dress. They seem to have lots of lemons on here. So I searched lemon pattern or something like that and it came up with several dresses. I think a lot of them have like straps and tank tops and stuff. So I didn't want to buy those. So I picked this one and was like, hey, we'll just try it out. This reminds me of something that you would see at some kind of like tropical gathering party if you were traveling in like Mexico or maybe like a luau or in the Bahamas, I don't know. But this dress is so fun and so funny. I don't know, oh, there's buttons there. We should do those up, hang on. I don't really know where you would wear this dress, but it's really fun, and if you have an outgoing, fun style, then I highly recommend it. The next dress that I have for you guys is this almost, I feel like, Greek-inspired pattern. However, it's got like palm trees and stuff all over it. I love the pattern itself. It is a knee-length dress, also with a tie around the waist, which is really nice. It makes it look fitting and... Um, just really good on your body. Again, I kind of feel like they went just a little too crazy with the puff sleeves. Um, at least for me, I kind of feel like these sleeves dwarf me a little bit, so I probably won't be keeping this dress. The sleeve length itself is a little bit long, so if you're a taller girl, it's gonna be great. For me, I could definitely stand to get it taken up like an inch or two, which would have been really nice, and I think made the overall feel of the dress much better. The fabric is thin, but I stood in the sunlight and even asked my husband um, what he thought, and he said you couldn't even see through the dress, which is awesome. And the last dress I have for you is this lovely flower print maxi dress. I'm actually really loving this dress. It's got ruffle sleeves here with elastics, um, and then again cinched in at the waist, with a beautiful high collar. For me, this does hit me as a maxi dress. There's also a ruffle here down at the bottom of the dress, which is a really nice feminine detail as well. The pattern itself is actually a navy blue background. I'm sure here in the camera it probably looks black, but it's navy blue, and then it's got um, peach and faded red and white flowers all over it. So I think it's a great pattern that would go with a lot of skin tones, especially I think maybe even cooler skin tones. This dress would look really nice with. And that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. I would love it if you commented below and let me know your favorite dress. We'll see you next time. Ha ha ha!